We are changing our minds here live. This is a clip from our live show, which happens every Thursday, and I got Jody here again. Uh, we've been talking about some fun stuff. J- Jody, I got another topic for you. Ready? See if you can change yeah. my mind on this one, or, if, or maybe we'll agree. Uh, Warner Brothers is skipping the theaters and going straight to VOD oh for their okay. movie Scoob. Now, look, I'm going to be honest on this one. I thought this looked pretty good. This clearly was yeah. like a world building on Hanna Barbera. They were bringing all the classic characters back. I, I fell for the puppy, him meeting the puppy for the first time. I liked the colorful animation. It was different. Felt like it's its own, but still respecting the source material. My kids were so excited for this one. Um, and I was excited to see this in theaters, to be perfectly honest. And so clearly they saw the trolls made money, which we're still trying to confirm how much money did trolls to mm-hmm. make. But the rumors are they did make some money. Um, oh. but, uh, you know, I've seen both They're not, no one's confirming it. Some have said, you know, I've seen that they could be over a hundred million and some are saying, well, it's probably closer to 60 to 80. Um, but hard to speculate, but all I'm saying is I don't think Warner brothers would have caved on Scoob if they didn't think that the financials on trolls two were beneficial is all I'm speculating again, speculating. Um, but they made this move and this to me, this to me screams two things, I guess is what we're about to debate. One Warner brothers doesn't believe in the movie. That's sadly the first thing I think about because if they did, they would have delayed it um, because it does seem to be like a franchise builder to build up the sort of Hanna-Barbera universe. Um, That said, they do have HBO Max brewing. Um, It's weird they didn't just sort of put it there, but they're clearly wanting to make some money, so they're going to drop it for VOD uh, rental. They're going to do a 48-hour rental for 20 bucks, and then you can buy it. Oh, my God. You can freak, Andy, (laughs) is going to pay $20 to rent it for two days when you can pay five more dollars and own it. it. There you go. So that, well, I think they're doing that to get an extra five dollars from everybody. So they're basically <laughs> just crazy. it's like an upcharge. Like, well, you can buy it for twenty, or you can just buy it and own it for twenty five dollars, which is probably Dude, smart because they'll get a lot more five dollars. People will rent it for the twenty and not buy it and not realize, oh crap, I could have owned it for that. Yeah, there, oh. some rich people will, um, which is you know what it is what it is, and then maybe their kids will make them buy it later, and so then they get to double dip. Double but up. um, I don't know. I, I my my argument is I think this is a bad move. I think uh, this is starting to happen. We're going to see it happening more. But I, I was ready to see this one. Now, what do I know? Maybe this movie would have been terrible and a box office failure. Uh, but I'm going to change my mind. I think Scoob would have been a, a fun one to release in theaters and attempt to get like a you know che- a nice little run. Maybe not a summer blockbuster, but they had this in May, Jody. They had to have known then this wasn't a good movie, and they could have delayed it to spring or fall when you know whatever. But they. S- chose may 15th which is a summer slot they had faith in this movie and then to, and they put out i thought good trailers there's world building here that could actually work for for as a dad and kids movies this one could be a good relaunch of that franchise uh that i think this is uh this was this was they're not going to make as much money as they would have in theaters is what my bet is jody what do you think I think you're kind of gassing up Scooby a little bit. I love Scooby. You love Scooby. We know, but for the kids, for the new kids in a, in a very kiddy uh, type of Pixar competition level, I automatically didn't think that this movie was going to make a killing in the box office anyway. $200 million maybe, maybe 250 something like that. But which, is, which would have been great for them. That's a lot of money. That's what's my the budget point. of this movie, though? No, but they're not going to make $200 on, uh, on VOD. Look at my man Serge in the chat says he he said he said they made a hundred dollars off of him. His kids rented it five times, a hundred dollars for trolls. Like and and that's the thing with kids, you know, parents, you know, we're suckers for our kids, right? You know, daddy, 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 what son? I really, really, really want it. My son, let me tell you right now, I'm getting it because my son has been freaking on my shit for the last. Five months about Scooby Doo. He wants to see it because we went and saw another movie. We saw the trailer and it looks adorable. That's my so point. I'm, there, you, but you just proved my point. Yeah. That trailer was great. Kids were talking about this movie. I mean, but you know, kids movie. Kids want to see every kids movie though. You sure, know I mean? sure. No, but uh, they yeah, every kids. Movie. They didn't want to see Onward, right? And that was a big one that Pixar, yeah, that Pixar yeah. thought I was going to do, and it well, didn't my do very son well. Did. When he saw the trailer for that, he wanted to see it. There's not a single kids movie that my son. I want to. I hear you. Me. They say that. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I relate to that. But I, I still think Scoob had a chance you are totally spot on there's also the problem of like there have been so many different versions of scoob over the past 10 years even 10 15 years that it's like confusing but that's my point of this was a good investment for warner brothers to attempt to get back in there because they need ip dude they need ip to be successful while they're launching warner brothers uh hbo max they got you know theme park stuff that's exactly what i'm saying though andy think about warner brothers as a whole 
They got so much shit going on. Wonder Woman, Nolan with Tenet. They don't know what they're doing with that. It's still in there for June, uh, July 17th or some shit like that. And then they got the thing, the streaming service they're about to launch. I think if we're looking at the timing, they either had to drop it May 15th or earlier, or it would have to go to streaming and they lose a lot of money. You know what I mean? Right. And, and the more I think about it, I, I, I do agree. They're probably going to put this on HBO Max pretty quickly. So they're probably yep. tr- not telling people that. And so I imagine they're going to get everyone to pay, you know, like Surge. <laughs> Sorry, Surge, you're going to have to pay yeah. another $100 <laughs> for Scooby Doo. Well, no, you'll have to pay $25. That was their mistake. They shouldn't have dropped the $25 one. That, that was stupid. They should have just, you do a window, let it be $20 for the rental, which. I, th- I do believe Trolls made its money. And then you do the next buy. Uh, but I think what they'll do is they'll put it, if they're putting it for sale for 25 to me their next move is it's going to be come June or July. It's now on HBO Max. You can check out Scoob yep. early because, yep. you know, Warner Brothers is in that library and they're going to want to have some big exclusives uh, since they're not doing <laughs> Snyder Cut. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I think – to me, this is just I think sad. it could make money, though. It could I, well, I think, I think it still could have, though. I think it could have made money in theaters. Whether it makes yeah, more yeah, money yeah, in... Uh, like, Artemis Fowl, like, that one kind of makes sense. I, I feel like Artemis Fowl was clearly going to be a movie that wasn't going to do huge for Disney, mm-hmm. and they were probably feeling it, and they're like, my God, mm-hmm. we're stacking up so many Marvel movies now. Mm-hmm. Where the hell are we even going to put Artemis Fowl? Like, it's not even that good. It's, it's da, da, da. So I, I think that's what Warner Brothers is doing with Scooby. Like, what are we going to do with this little shit that we're experimenting on with animation? Ah, we got Wonder Woman and Tenet and Nolan. Christopher's calling us talking about the release date. Oh, my God, we got to launch the streaming. All right, just release Scooby. Put it on digital. I think it's like one of those things. Yeah, but see, all I'm arguing here, and I still stand by it, Artemis Fowl, who cares? Disney's not, it's some book that they, they they spent a little money on, they lost the bet. Scooby-Doo, man. Scooby-Doo is a huge character for them that they could be creating so much content from, marketing, you know, merchandising, if they can get it to work again. Uh, and I, I don't know, I think you that's one of those movies, that, one of those library titles they don't just shove off to VOD to have a big maybe week or two and then it's done, which is what's going to happen agree. with Trolls and with Scooby Doo. And so my point is, I think even if they thought, you know what, this movie's not as good as we hoped, well, yeah, what are we going to do? We have so many movies coming out. Just delay all your movies a year. Who the hell cares? So now you get a year off. You got a lot of movies to stockpile. I'll let you be a little bit pickier the next year. Put it next spring and take the chance. Why you put invested all this money? 2021 is filling up, Andy. 2021. I'm telling you, by the time 2021 rolls around. Ain't going to be a single weekend for a big budget movie to even get a slot in. It's going to be some direct competition, bro. Right. And then it's also the question of do you do it now or do you wait till July if we're still stuck? You know what I mean? Then it's even more valuable when you release it then. So this was a clearly, uh, again, I, 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 it has to be that they're going to make money and trolls made money. So I guess that's what they're do- making a decision. And it has to be they didn't have faith in it, which is a bummer to me because I thought this one looked good and it makes me upset because – it makes me a little less excited to see it now. Do you know what I mean? Like it makes me feel like well, they're not they don't bet on it. They're not they're not feeling uh, I it. I mean, I'm my, my trepidation is coming from the, the movie theater experience, man. I'm scared, bro. And people are like, bruh, we I had a live stream topic a week ago, and I was shocked to know that so many people were okay with just let the theaters die out, bro. We just get it in streaming. I'm like, what what? Ugh, awful. <laughs> streaming is replacing theaters. when? In what world? We were about 50-50 split in the audience, man. I was shocked, man. I want the theater needs to live on. I want this to be in theaters, man. And this is this coron this Bud Light is <laughs> whoo, that was close. This Bud Light is really uh fast forwarding and shedding light on the fact of maybe we don't need movie theaters. And I, I, that scares me. Yeah, I don't believe that's going to happen. I mean, now, could they start cutting, like, some of the chains? And some of the chains might go out of business, sure. There's going to be somebody who wises up and says, no, we got to have – there's got to be – mm-hmm. like, even Scorsese or Scorsese. Nolan, yeah. they'll pony up money Nolan. just to make sure there's an you know, exclusive, you know, art house cinema out there to show old movies and new – like, I, I don't see how you can kill that business. Look, they tried to kill Drive-In. It's, they're still around. So my, I, I don't see how you can – completely lose it people still have vhs tapes and dvds like it's going to be that is not happening anytime soon could we see less movie theaters though that is a reality i think is sad but even if people are saying no screw it theaters there's no way there's too many people i see in the comments no way no way theaters should never die i i'm with you i'm sure there are people right. out there but amc and low and uh cinemark filing for bankruptcy about to file for bankruptcy so hopefully someone buys them 
Yeah, no, I, well, the studios are going to end up buying them. The studios are going to end up buying them, having their own theater chains, and that's what they, that stuff's going to get crazy. Because there was a like, huge law about that conflict of interest type of thing. It expired like a couple years yeah. ago or some shit like that I read about. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, no, but Disney will end up buying movie theaters. That way they just they can control Through the that. run. Bezos, I, I'm telling you, Bezos, Amazon, buy the theater chain, buy Cinemark, buy Lowe's, buy all that shit, and put your Amazon Prime shit straight to theaters, bro. Freak well, I know it's true. Theaters. If Amazon did it, then, then they own everybody because they're like, well, yeah. we got the theaters. I mean, it is a weird thing. I want someone like that will be smart and just take it over and be like, you want your yep. theater revenue? Well, you got to come through Amazon now. It's uh, perfect for it, 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 They have money. A- or Apple. Apple could do it too. Um, yep. and have straight state of the art theaters like Apple and Amazon got so much money. They haven't really they been should. doing good on the streaming side. Apple is suffering right now with the streaming, aren't they? Yeah, and that way if they have some of their own originals, they could premiere it in their theaters, and then they could have it straight mm-hmm. to their, their their platform, and they can control that window. Because I think that's what theaters are, are have been so stupid about. This like it has to be in the theaters for three months. Why? Who cares? Get it a, get it in a month as long. If if it really doesn't work, then fine. But you haven't proved. You have to case study it first. Like if the Irishman had gone in theaters for the month of November. I don't believe for a second adults wouldn't have gone and, pay, and given that movie a hundred million dollars in the theaters to tack on to, to whatever it made in Netflix subscriptions. Because I think they people would have gone. Theaters though. No, no, it was like in two. It was like in three, or it was a very limited run of theaters. But I'm just saying, if they had actually let it play in AMC, Regal, and all the big ones, like it wasn't playing right, by right, me, right, right. Um, I think they could have made more money and they could have made it a big deal. Especially if they didn't announce when the Netflix date was coming. If they had just released it in November and then suddenly out of nowhere, oh by the way, Irishman just dropped. Boom! It's there. Oh, what? You know, it would have been awesome, and then people would have. I, I, it doesn't. It, it, there's ways to market it. And I don't think they're doing it poorly. And to wrap this one up, I, I'm I'm sad because I was looking forward to Scoob, and it makes me think they don't buy. They don't believe in it because uh, it's like how do, you, how do you drop a VOD of Scoob and then make Scoob two in theaters? I, don't I was see just going to tell you that they could do that if it's great a hit at home. The kids love it, but they see the sequel, they'll say, "Daddy, take me to see it." Yeah, no, it's like Trolls 3. You think they're really going to make Trolls 3 in the theaters? I don't know. I mean, Trolls uh, made really did well because Netflix. Remember, they have shows on Netflix and stuff mm-hmm. that are killing it. It's like eight seasons into that Trolls cartoon. So uh, th- I feel like that's where they're sort of seeing their merchandise and their syndication rights are where they really care about. And that's why Trolls took that shot. And also, Trolls wasn't very good. Trolls 2 was pretty bad. So it made yeah, sense why they, well, they sort of dumped it out there. So it's sad to hear Scoob, which is you such a crown. You ranted on it a little bit, didn't you? World Tour, the songs. So. Yeah, I didn't like the songs. I I, yeah. I like Justin Timberlake, actually. But I, I, I thought his that song from the first Trolls, was a, that was a jam, man. That was a total yeah. kids hit that we played it. All. I still play it from time to time with my kids. Uh, that was a catchy song. You did a good kids family hit. And it, there's not a single one of those in this time. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm just sad because I thought Scoob is a crown jewel in that Warner Brothers catalog that I, I, I was sad to see them say, yeah, fine, it's throw sad, it on yeah. VOD. Artemis Fowl, Trolls 2, whatever. Scooby-Doo. This is a blow. This is definitely a blow sucks. to the Scooby-Doo movie, but it it really has to be a good film for it to have a chance to, to get back in theaters for a sequel. Uh, thank you for watching this clip. If we post it on YouTube, it might be my members only section, but it'll be somewhere. Thanks for watching here on YouTube. We're going to continue our Thank stream. You. Join us every Tuesday night for Change Our Minds and uh, Thursday night Nerd Wars and uh, Ying Yang over on Wednesday on Jody's Corner. Thanks for watching, everybody who watching it. After the fact, you missed the party. See you soon. Bye.